welcome to a new video and I am Bella and the video that I have for you guys today yeah, you is me telling you guys a small little change to my YouTube channel so without further ado let's get on this video let's go okay so I have two YouTube channels I am Bella and simply Bella so for now on the change that um, I am going to do is that I'm going to be closing Simply Bella, so I will not be posting on there anymore. Um, which means I will be opening a new um, playlist on I Am Bella um, called Simply Bella. So the way um, you guys are now going to see it is that I will not always be posting interviews, vlogs, and tours on I Am Bella, but I will sometimes be posting videos that I would originally do for Simply Bella if that makes any sense so what I mean is that usually on Simply Bella I will post like vlogs like birthday parties um, and just regular kids stuff um, so I'm going to be putting that kind of uh, videos onto I Am Bella now so yeah By the way, this isn't a hairy mess. <laughs> I meant to say that this isn't messy hair. This is just um, plaits that I took out this morning. And yeah, I just want to throw it out there. <laughs> so tip number one is writing down key information. So sometimes um, your teachers will either show you a video or an example. If I see something useful, then I will write it down in my book. I would either write a list or just write it underneath the LO and date. I just think it's really useful because I can just look back at it, just say, that can really help me. I'll think about it instead of asking a teacher for help. And yeah. Okay, so tip number two would be writing down steps. It would really come in handy if you're struggling to explain something, if you don't know how to get the answer. Because steps is technically giving you the answers, it's kind of like a guidebook and I would definitely suggest writing down steps on whatever you are learning about because it works <laughs> magnifique. So tip number three would be using arrows. So I sometimes like to use arrows because not only does it show whoever is looking at your work on what you're referring to and what you're talking about, but it makes your work a little neater and it kind of works like... Um, the word um bullet points so i would just suggest using arrows if you want to anyways okay guys so for tip number four i'm going to be moving straight on to math and i'm going to help you how to do the nine times tables with your fingers oh, i know right pretty cool if you come across a question for example nine times seven and you have no idea what it is but not to fear because your fingers are here oh my god that rhymed ha! so what you're gonna have to do is that you're gonna pull up your ten fingers if you want to know what nine times seven is you put the seventh finger down and what do you get sixty three oh, cool right if you want to learn what nine times five is put the fifth finger down and you get 45 if you want to know what 9 times 1 is 9 it's seriously that simple i mean how cool is that i'm finding it so useful i recommend it moving on to tip number five we're still on math by the way i'm going to be showing you how, the easiest way on how to write all your times tables so here it is so if you want to write the one time oh it's dirty if you want to write the one times table you're going to have to write one 12 and that's the one times table if you want to do the two times table you do two four six eight zero after the zero you're going to write one then two four six eight zero okay then you're going to write it again two four six eight zero so you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And that is up to 12, so you can erase that. 
So there you have the two times tables. So the one and the two times tables were both examples of a pattern. Um, lots of times tables don't have patterns. For example, the three times tables. If you want to work out the three times tables, you're going to have to do three plus three equals six, then six plus three equals nine, and then nine plus three equals twelve, and then you just go on to the twelfth number, which is, I think it's thirty-six. Yeah, it's 36. Um, but I'm now going to show you an example on how to work out the 9 times tables. And trust me, you're going to love it. It's really smart. So here you have it. So the smartest way and easiest way to write the 9 times table would be write 9, 1, 0. And that's the 9 times tables up to 10. You're going to have to write... 99 and then 108 to complete the 9 times tables. With the 5s you're going to have to write 5, 1, 1, 2 and then 0 again. Tip number 6 is asking for help. Guys, there are lots of people that I know that are struggling with a question, that are struggling for an answer and they just don't tell anyone and they literally just waste time doing absolutely nothing when it gets to break time they've done zero work and they have to miss their break time and you guys don't want that because asking I say asking is probably one of the most important things in life I am not talking about schoolwork anymore I'm not talking about homework anymore I am talking about life now asking for help is super important because as an example, if someone was bullying you and they say something that triggers you, don't keep it in because it will make you feel much worse. But if you tell someone, ask someone for help, you will feel much better and that person can help you. So I think asking is very important. So yeah, ask someone for help in your work. Last but absolutely not least is tip number seven with handwriting. So handwriting is probably one of the most important skills in life because not only does it make your handwriting look neat and really clear to see but it helps you with um, writing much faster so i'm going to show you two ways on how to make your handwriting spectacular which one do you think is nicer this ola or that ola i think this one because i hold i held the pencil like this where you hold it is that you put it in between this gap and this is my original handwriting if you have a really nicely sharpened pencil and you just move your book a little to the side and write jointed then your handwriting will look really nice okay guys so that is the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe share this video with friends and family and i'll see you guys yay in the next video. Bye.